Hello. So my second infusion uh, went much better than my first. They have me taking strong doses of steroids the evening before my infusion, and that prevents having a reaction to the Taxil. They still titrate it slowly to begin to make sure I don't have a reaction, but I'm tolerating it okay. So that's the good news. Um, I didn't have the severe nerve pain during the second time. Uh, it was better. I could still feel it. It was residual, but it was so much better. It was tolerable. Um, I did have waves of nausea. Um, actually, I should say waves of queasiness. I never threw up. They give you medicine to prevent that. It's amazing that it works. It really does. Um, I just had these intense waves of illness. I would not feel good. And the only way to have those abate was to lay down flat. So I would just go to bed and lay on my right side. That seemed to help. And just concentrate on my breathing. Sometimes I laid there and cried and my husband would just come and spoon next to me and hold me until I calmed down. And then I would fall asleep for an hour or two. And then I would wake up and I would come out to the front room and I'd feel okay for a while and then that wave would hit again. I would say it was hitting four or five, six times a day. And I slept for an hour or two each time. I, I was amazed how much my body could sleep during that time. And when I went to bed at night, I would sleep all night through. These drugs are hard on the body. And I was still healing from my surgery. Um, the third episode, I did not meet with my doctor between the second and the third, my pain doctor that is. Um, and so I thought to myself, well, I don't need to take meds if I don't need them. So I didn't take the gabapentin. And I did have nerve pain. It was tolerable, but it was irritable. And what I realized after three days of having that nerve pain was that it was making me irritable. I didn't like it. I'm sure my husband didn't like it. I should have taken it to help me. And so between the third and the fourth infusion, I did meet with my pain doctor again. I thought again we'd go in for like maybe a 15 minute session. Should have known. I was there an hour and 45 minutes. What doctor gives you that kind of time? He listened. He asked questions. My symptoms are different and it's challenging for him but he made some recommendations for my fourth treatment and they're working i uh yes i'm still sick i don't feel good at times during uh, the week after my infusion. But this is a Sunday morning after my fourth infusion. I have been sick Sunday and Monday, and I'm not sick today. I feel good. So what he's doing, what he's trying, is working for me. Last night, I did not feel good. It's the worst I have felt since I had my infusion on Tuesday. I went to bed at 7. Slept till midnight, got up for an hour, and then went back to bed and fell right to sleep and slept the night. Feeling better at that point. It comes and goes. 
Chemo is hard on the body. It's hard on your emotions. Um, I didn't ask for this, but I've got it. And so I have to deal with it. If you are a loved one helping someone who goes through chemo, you don't need to tell them it's going to be okay because we don't know if it's going to be okay. What I suggest is that you are just there for them. You smile with them. You listen to them. You tell them how important they are to you. Remember a fun story that you've had with them. Plan something fun that they can do with you. Just visit, just talk, just be there for them. I can't imagine doing this journey on my own. It would be depressing and it would be exhausting because I'm tired a lot as my body fights this poison and this cancer. My body is just tired. I have a few minutes of energy and then I'm, I'm just tired. I took a shower this morning and it wore me out. Um, but I'm not sick. I can rest today. I can go for my walk and I feel good and life is good. And I'm planning for my future. I don't know what my future is going to hold. I don't know how long my future is going to be, but I'm going to enjoy today. And I hope you do too. Thank you for following me on my journey. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the people in your life that need you. You know, we just never know how much someone is suffering. So reach out to a friend today. Just let them know you're thinking about them. I get so many cards and texts and it just makes me feel so good to know that someone's thinking about me. You can do that for someone else too. Take care and thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.